is as fast as it is is one thing that people need to like wake up about. <laughs> um, yeah, Pac-Man <laughs> in this game, his normals are good. Yeah. His forward air, he can do two of them out of a short hop. It has no yeah. lag on it. Neutral <laughs> air as well. It's just an amazing tool. Downer can kill off stage. Up air is a little bit on the mediocre side, but mm -hmm. Pac-Man isn't really meant to juggle. You One know? other thing about Pac-Man that, I mean, not only could his wall projectiles be frustrating as any zoner would be to fight against, uh, but he kind of rubs it in your face because he's happy the whole time. Not like the other fighters who are struggling when they're getting their big <laughs> hits in. He's just like, <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> But anyway, as you were predicting, uh, wow, uh, Ooh, never mind. maybe putting damage. a... Yeah, I was going to say, it, it looks like Charles is having a little bit of trouble here, but he found a little bit of an opening, tacked on some good percent. Looks like he's he's trying to play around the Hydrant, but Sinji has the answers for it. I also think that he's trying to play more of a long-range game, using the laser to hit the Hydrant. He doesn't want to engage because he's probably unfamiliar with what it truly can do. <gasps> oh, I think he wanted the footstool, but no such luck right there, so that's not going to be quite a stop just yet. But Sinji's still looking in a mighty good position. I really like oh, that. He grabs the bell. Oh. That was so good. Can this be big for him? He reads the air dodge, but he just goes too far to the right. I really like that Sinji, though, no matter what, he's either always charging or he's always throwing the hydrant and creating stage, uh, like a gap in the stage for him to reset a bunch, give himself more charge time, and he's always mixing up which fruit he's going to have ready. Sinji, he is like actually sort of like. Before he does anything, he already has a plan in place. Did I just he see a hydrant kill? <laughs> yeah, that nice. kills. Okay. There you go. I just never see it catch people from above them. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. And, like, notice that Sinji will know the exact angles that when he hits the hydrant, they'll go towards. And then he also positions himself to fill the gap, you know? Mm. Oh, up there, not quite making the mark there. Oh, great grab, catching the get-up attack. One thing I notice about Sinji, too, is he'll only... And a lot of players from New York City actually do this. They only hold shield when absolutely necessary. I mean, you see it right there. Charles getting the up smash out of shield. Uh, both players very reactionary in their own rights, kind of ready for each and every situation. And I think that's a credit to the types of characters they use, being able to create so much space and kind of take a few breaths every now and then. We got a situation at the ledge right now. Sinji picking up the gyro. Oh, bouncing it like a yeah. basketball. And, you know, this <laughs> is one of those things where uh, both these players, the, these characters have items, which means that when they get a hold of the other's item, they might be able to do some really cool things with it. Right. However, I'd say that in regards to that, I think that Sinji has the advantage because gyro is a very straightforward projectile. Right. But let's say you grab melon. Mm -hmm. What's optimal? What do you do with melon? Right. Ooh. Yeah, what do you do? Maybe down throw into melon? Uh, <laughs> Z-drop. Just, <laughs> just Z-drop. <laughs> <laughs> when like, when, whenever I grab a projectile, I'm just like, maybe I can Z-drop it. Well, the apple today throwing Rob's second stock away. Nice job there by <gasps> Sinji. Oh, he could have followed through on that, but I guess he just wasn't confident in the chase down, and that means Sinji's able to stay alive here. And if he's staying alive, that means that like, this is the situation where if you're Charles, you have to close out this stock somehow. Oh. How are you going to do it? The side be catching the get-up. Beautiful stuff from Charles. And this is a one-stock game apiece. Mm -hmm. Looking a lot even than how it started. I think Charles just needed that first stock to kind of figure out what Cindy was up to. And now he waited until the third one to kind of open him up, explode on him, get really fast with all of the moves coming out of his system. There's a neutral air. He's abusing that neutral air a lot more than he was at the start, too. Now that he knows kind of what Sinji's air patterns are, that might have been why he started the match so grounded. Oh, my God. And he actually gets the stock. <gasps> Not quite. Sinji's barely hanging on. Charles on the cusp of getting this game one in what would be a massive, massive upset for him. I've got to say. <laughs> the tech is beautiful. <laughs> Even though that up smash didn't kill, the fade away from the hydrant Did was. You just see that? He forward it and then down tilted on the platform. He absolutely. Uh, I don't know when he learned this oh matchup. <laughs> oh. oh, that's going to be it, though. Wow, Sinji hanging on. That was really scary. You could tell he was kind of, you know, quaking in his, in his little, uh, little 
Tim Red Tim Boots there. That was such a solid game. One, I, I love when players like Sinji come into the building and show off like just what these characters we don't get to see as much can do. Uh, he's also a, a very, very true to his Pac-Man. Has been playing him since the start of Smash 4. One of his favorite video game characters, like the amount of Pac-Man oh, merch is like this guy owns. Loves Pac he is he is living, breathing Pac-Man. <laughs> Uh, I also, I just, from our uh, Eye in the Sky, I just got word that apparently uh, Charles does have experience Ooh. in the Pac-Man matchup. The Intel team coming through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our Eye in the Sky, as I like to call them. Uh, Thanks, yeah, Twitch so his Jeff. brother, Quid, has a secondary Pac-Man. So it's not the sort of Pac-Man that Sinji would have. You Wait. Know? No Quid, secondary Pac-Man. Quid and Charles are brothers. Yes. Like Quid the Ivysaur. Like his yes. username's Quid the Ivysaur. Just well, a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. One who just beats the Ivy, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a of a, a I mean Freudian trainer. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. That's why they team together. That's really awesome. See, real Super Smash Brothers. For real. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but this game starting to look similar to that game one where, you know, Sinji has a really good start here. I think that maybe Sinji is... He's taking Zen, uh, Charles, rather, a lot more seriously. You know, he's, okay, this guy has some moves. This guy actually knows the matchup more than I gave him credit for. Oh, and because wow. of that, he's starting to play a lot more careful. The down air off stage, that's huge. And now Charles, he's down by a not insignificant amount against the Pac-Man. Can we talk about how heavy Rob is? 166 didn't die to a key? And then, I mean, he got him with the forward air after, but like all I was thinking was, wow, what a heavy boy. <laughs> He's a robot. <laughs> that is true. Have you ever tried picking up a robot? I can't say I have, but, really? you know, now I don't really want to, looking at Rob. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sinji just kind of finding his zone, waiting for Charles to make the approach. He's, he's got all the time in the world. He doesn't care. No reason to go in when you're about to lap his percent. Or you did. You already did. Good job. What? Sinji faked out grabbing the Galaxian. You saw that he ran up to it like he was going to do it, it but he good. actually knew the spacing and the fact it would actually still connect. Yeah, it was, and it was great conversion into the back air, giving him more stage control. But Charles finding his way to reset again. No Hydra between them this time. Oh, back air is going to miss the mark. Charles needs this stock to disappear right now because otherwise, if he goes down three stocks to one, that might be just the insurmountable thing. Yeah, that's But if he takes the stock here, yes, it's going to be difficult for him, but that's a Rob with Rage, and Rob can definitely rack a lot of percent, especially if he doesn't have to worry about actually killing. That should be it, though. Back throw at the ledge. And now this is that nightmare scenario we were just talking about. How does Charles, after having such a close call game one, how does he manage to keep his winner's bracket alive here? Yeah, Charles looking a, a little shaken up right here by all of Sinji's bonanza <laughs> going on. Uh, definitely was playing a lot more explosive towards the end of the last game, so I think that's kind of where this is coming from. You know, he probably thinks he can get away with a lot more of Rob's offensive utility. Um, but, you know, Sinji just proven he's got all the answers. He's got the patient game down. Oh, and even that up smash not quite able to hit. That and felt that like an uh, up smash of desperation. Yeah, I mean, it was it was not the worst position to run. That wasn't like a YOLO run up Yeah, smash, no, you're you know? right, you're right. But at the same time, yeah, he gives up. Oh, was that game three? That was game two. Isn't it 1-1? One, one? That was No, it's 2-0. It's two, 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 oh. Uh, no, Sinji won game one. Oh, Sinji did win. Oh, Remember it was very close. Yeah, that is true. It was very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 